Hello guys, I'm going to talk about the preparation strategy for CAT, especially for the LRDI section of, uh, of CAT. Fine. This has been the tougher section for the last 5-6 years. Uh, it's been fabulous because they made us flip, they made a change and then they said look, from now we're not going to keep LRDI on a template. We're not going to say we'll have one arrangement puzzle, one circular arrangement puzzle and one map, match mapping puzzle, one nice graph with bar charts, one with pie charts, create 8 questions, you're good to go. They said, look, I'm going to uh, define puzzles and give puzzles that don't get categorized in any of these. Where you have to go think out of the box, where you have to say, okay, what constraint works best? How do I retain a bunch of things and add layers to it? How do I try out different possibilities and eliminate them? How do I solve something, use a little bit of math and, and narrow down some possibilities? So they're, they're looking for this. How do you prepare for this? Fine. So preparation for this happens in two phases. One is the absolute basic, the old fashioned uh, bar graph by chart part is important because you need to get comfortable with processing math given or numbers given in visual form and basic ideas with percentages and numbers you can't get out of that so do that and some old-fashioned standard puzzles so tournament puzzles arrangement puzzles mapping puzzles matching puzzles get that so that your mind is now ready to go and challenge some of the tougher ones and so these the ones that I spoke of so far are not likely in your exam they're not going to happen but they get you ready to go to phase two. Phase two is when you have to spend a lot more time discovering and figuring out a lot more new templates. And so what is the best place to start? The, the best place to start is the previous year CAT papers. So take at least a few of them. Uh, luckily enough for us, CAT 17, 18, 19 and 20 on all slots, all those sets are available. And, and, and we have a lovely playlist. Please do check us out. It's available here. Please check out the playlist for the LRDI solutions. They're wonderful and you get a sense of what CAT is trying to do if you go through a few of them. Mind you, you've got to be careful. If you want to take these as mock exams, then you shouldn't see all of them. And if you're saying, look, I'm going to take CAT 17, 18 papers as if they were real CAT and I need to save them up as mocks, then don't go through everything. Sacrifice some one year, maybe CAT 2018 and look at all LRDA, all VRC, all quant to get a sense of what the paper is. Hold on to the remaining in order to take them as mocks later on. But the best place to get one snapshot of what this is about is the LRDI, is the actual CAT paper. And so after this, what do you do? Make sure that you get tons of variety. Solve different types of puzzles. This exam is not about knowing 14 templates and cracking them well. It's about figuring out the 19th and 27th template really quickly. So it's solved with a lot of variety. Then what should you do? Very often I find students saying, look, I keep on solving, but I don't get quicker. But I know that I can do 10 questions, but I know there's a guy who did 22. I don't even know how I'm going to get to 22 or even 15. Because you're trying to get better in your own styles, in your own kind of silos of thought process. Very often snapping out and going through a high quality solution is very useful because you get into the head of the guy who has cracked that puzzle in eight minutes and is outlining it in great detail over 15 minutes rather than trying to get better at your own method which will anyway take 15 minutes fine so don't look jot down points for that puzzle but if you go through solutions and high quality solutions at that then it gives you a sense of oh i shouldn't have started with this constraint i should have started with that i should be thinking of this puzzle with that starting point and then slowly layers get added onto that. It's not, it's more art than science, not like one defined metric. They want it to be like that. They don't want to put it on a template and say, okay, prepare and you're good to go. But it can still be cracked if you're methodical about it. If you increase your variety, if you focus on solutions and, and understanding the, the thought process running behind the guy who's created the question, who's giving the solution. So focus a lot of time on finding good sets and intuitive, detailed, wonderful solutions. Very crucial. It goes without saying that the 2IM course has a fabulous set of solutions. So I'm not going to do a major course pitch here, but do check out the YouTube solutions for LRDI. They're fabulous. It gives you an idea of the kind of effort we put in to carving out how to solve a set rather than just giving you an answer. Any LRDI set is very simple once you have the final table in hand. The difficulty is in figuring out what, what mistakes we might have made and how we come back to the right track when solving and that's very crucial so do check out some of these sets if you have any queries questions as always reach out to us uh, happy preparation and best wishes